The entity system is a vital part of Drupal because it's used for storing and managing configuration and content. Now remember, Drupal is a CMS, so all it really does is manage content and configuration. As a site builder, you only need to know a few important parts of the entity system to get a good understanding. So let's discuss them now. First, entity types. Now there are two types of entities, configuration and content. Configuration entities or config entities for short are used to manage the site configuration. Anything that's exported out of Drupal as configuration, such as the site name, is a config entity. Now let's talk about content entities. As you can guess from the name, content entities are used to store content. You can attach fields to them and they support revisions. Whereas with config entities, you can't attach fields to them and they do not support revisions. In Drupal 8, there are many content entities, but just to name a few, you have user, taxonomy term, and the biggest is node, AKA content types. Now that you understand entity types, let's discuss bundles. The best way to think of a bundle is as a subtype of an entity type. For example, you have the node entity type, which is a content entity. And every content type, such as article or basic page, is a bundle. Another example is taxonomy term. A bundle or subtype is a vocabulary. Not all content entities have bundles. A good example of this is the user entity. You can't create different user types. The field system is how an entity stores its values, and this is where you'll spend a lot of your time site building. A field has three parts, field type, field widget, and field formatter. The field type defines the type of value you are storing. This could be a long text value or a decimal value, or it could be location coordinates. Then you have the field widget. The widget is a form element which allows a user to enter in and modify the field values. An example of this is the long text field. If you use this field, it'll show you a text area. If you create a list field, it'll display a select list. And this form element is the widget. Now, widgets can be really simple, such as a text field or complex, like an autocomplete field. The last part of the field is the formatter. This is what's rendered to the user. If you've played around the Manage Display page, then you are configuring the field formatters. So just remember, a field has three parts. First is the field type. This defines the type of value which will be stored. Second is the widget, the form element used to enter in values. And finally, the formatter, how values will be rendered and displayed. Now, display modes are the next piece to this epic puzzle. There are two types of display modes, a view mode and form mode. You can manage these by going to admin, structure, and clicking on the display modes link. Let's first discuss view modes. View modes have been around for a while. In Drupal 6, it was called a build mode. In Drupal 7, it's a view mode. Whatever it's called, the concept is the same. A view mode lets you render an entity bundle differently based off a particular context. For example, Drupal comes with a bunch of default view modes. The two important ones are teaser and full content. The teaser view mode is configured to display a title and a summary, and it's used on the default homepage, whereas the full content is used to display everything. You can even create your own view modes. Let's say you want to display an article in a block as a call to action. Then you could create a CTA view mode, which will only be rendered as a block. Form modes, on the other hand, are new in Drupal 8. They let you control the entity form. A good example of this is the user registration form. Form modes allow you to have different entity form configurations. So the user registration form could be different than the user edit form but you're still dealing with the same entity. Unless you have specific requirements, you won't really use form modes. You'll spend most of your time configuring view modes. 
We covered a lot in this video, so let's summarize. There are two types of entities, configuration and content. Content entities can have bundles, which you can think of as subtypes. Fields are used to store values on an entity and it has three parts, a field type, widget and formatter. Display modes let you control how the entity will be rendered and the entity form will be displayed. I hope you now have a better understanding of the entity system. In the next video, I'll show you how all of this works by creating an article.